Okay, so the proper way to flip through a rack is you start at the end. You don't bounce around, right? You're gonna flip through with the tags facing you. You're gonna see each tag. Comprende? And then when you get to a middle section of the rack, you're gonna hold your arm on the clothes like this, pulling it, boom, and then this hand grabs on. You're seeing the tags. You see how the hand? Some people, they skip all over the racks. You know, they jump around like teenagers and they jump right in front of you. But you need to start at the beginning of the rack, okay? And then as you're flipping, you're gonna see. And then it's time to jump to the next section. All right, Bubs just found some really good stuff. Bubs, keep going, you're on a roll. Just Those are like the two best things we found this whole trip. Nice, dude. Bubs, that Lululemon one, I think it's gonna be even better. I hope it fits you, cause you found it, so you deserve it. Fits like a glove. <laughs> just like a little, but nothing. Just a little bit, but I think that will come off. Looking good, Bub. Well, if you want it, you found it, so. You should look it up. Bubs, you found two things that were worth pulling my camera out for. <laughs> These are actually really good too. What are them? They're Nike Metcon, Nike oh. Metcon women's shoes. Yeah, so we just got out of the like, uh, thrift store. Bubs have found some really good stuff in there. She's a pro. Some dude came by uh, with another little cart of electronics and I found like this weird little light thing. I don't know, I'll show you what it is. The trick to this Goodwill here over in Las Vegas, I think it's in Henderson off, what was the road? Eastern? Goodwill off of the, I think 215 freeway on Eastern. Maybe you live around here. There's a Goodwill over there. It's by an In-N-Out. But if you just kind of sit in front of the door, they just keep bringing out good stuff. And they got a lot of couches on this line where they bring the stuff so you can just pop on a couch, list some items on your phone until they bring out a new thing. You can, uh, I want to shout out to everyone in the comments, you know, keeping the comment section alive. We got Ladybug. We got Karen. We got... Uh, thrift to life was in there. Nothing new thrifts. He's cool. You know, I might be missing someone, but. So this is just some of the stuff. Here's a reference, there's a table. I have to fly back to California and I didn't bring a big suitcase. Bubs has a suitcase she might give me. Um, but yeah, look at all this junk. So I can't show you all this, but I think there's gonna be a couple things in here that are interesting. So I'm gonna whip through it uh, because I need to take this stuff out of this bag. Some stuff I wanna wash because Bubs has a nice washing machine scenario over there. Let me just make sure this is. Here's one thing I found at Sabres. I didn't get a lot of hard goods. It's this video camera. It's in the box. It has all of this stuff. This is a Panasonic. Something for early from the early 2000s. It's got tapes, I tested it out. Everything works. It's probably gonna need the batteries replaced. It's gonna get me about a hundred bucks. With all that stuff, there's nothing sold for that one under hundred bucks. Cool. Oakley golf shorts, paid $6 for them. Here's an interesting brand. It's kind of like a designer slash streetwear brand. Uh, it's called Pell Pell. Their leather jackets are extremely valuable. Look up Pell Pell, not Pell Studio. That's a trick. Pell Pell, it's a totally different brand. Here's another sort of designer brand, not really. It's Ed Hardy, a pair of jeans from 2009. Excellent condition, not crazy stitching, but it's got some, uh, it was, I feel like one of those LuLaRoe girls talking to her. You should watch this documentary about uh, the legging company, LuLaRoe. It's on Amazon Prime video. Really interesting. Maybe one of you is one of those ladies. Bubs found this. Real awesome find. Lululemon with the tag, not not the new tag, the size tag, which is incredibly valuable. It's like a puffer bat jacket. We're gonna take special care of this. Paid 13 bucks for it. And she also found a nearly identical jacket in a really cool brand called Patagonia. So another long parka puffer jacket. Both fit her, so maybe she can pick which one she likes better. Take it home. Some Nike uh, CrossFit shoes. Looking to 
I think it's worth looking at Nike most of the time. I actually found this hat for myself. It's got this old lady cartoon on it. Her name is Maxine. I've actually seen her a couple times on like other cartoons. I got it for myself. It looks a little funny on me, but Bub says it looks cool, so I might keep it. Otherwise, there's zero listed and one sold for $18 plus shipping. Okay, what do we got here? Some Affliction jeans, awesome. Pay 10 bucks for these, Affliction. They're another one of those big embroidery type brands. These are men's. Real awesome find at the Goodwill. A black buckle. This is Buckle, a company I sell all the time, BKE. It's a kind of a dainty little men's shirt. Paid like five bucks for that. All right, we're breezing through it here. I found a Stussy button up shirt, size medium. Excellent condition. It's pretty basic though, it's not super. Stussy is a streetwear brand. Um, Kind of like fashion for young people that I don't know. There's only 250. I mean, you can be an older person to wear it. Travis Matthew Polo. I think everyone knows about Travis and Matthew by now. Maybe you don't. It's not an amazing brand, but I would call it a bread and butter company. It's gonna give you 15 to 20 bucks plus shipping nearly every time if it's in good condition. So I paid six dollars for that polo. This brand is new to me. I didn't do a ton of research on it. It's called Donald Ross. It's a polo shirt, a golf polo shirt, in great condition. I think I heard another YouTuber talk about it. who was it. Daily Refinement was talking about Donald Ross polo. That's old. And I, whatever, it's an XXL, which is a good size. For men's size, the rule of thumb is bigger sizes are better. Probably for women's too, you know? Women's really small sizes are not good. I can tell you that. Uh, Nike Golf Tour Performance Pants. These ones are cool. They have like, you see me? They have holes in them. Like, uh, not in a bad way. Like breathing holes. Maybe I should just wear golf pants as my regular pants. They're really comfortable feeling. Today I found this. A guy walked by. It's like a light for a TV. I don't know how that works because TVs are already lit. It's only five bucks. New, these sell for over a hundred. The lowest sold comp for a used one is like $50. That was with the box. This is not of the box. Like I said, I only paid five dollars for it. It's called a Bean. Oh, Bink. B e n q. Um, I th I typed in Bino when I looked it up, so I actually don't know if I'm right. Instead of Bink, it's B e n q. And when I read it, I thought it said Bino. So I typed in Bino. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to relook this up. Actually, good thing I only paid five bucks for it. Yeah, why would a company call themselves Bino? Isn't that the gas company like the? Whatever. Uh, REI UPF shirt. It's Bubs' size. I wish she would try it on. I think it would look cool. So I'm gonna throw it over in the Bubs try-on pile. Uh, Bubs lives here in Las Vegas, so I like to send her little care packages of cool things I find as well. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I remember this. This is from the Salvation Army, which I usually hate the Salvation Army, and they did good this time. Prana men's t-shirt, size small. One dollar! The white tags were half off, and this was t-shirts are two dollars, so that was one dollar. This was also a dollar, some Eddie Bauer skorts. I can't believe I found North Face hiking shorts in there. That's insane. And I did, they were four dollars. A hybrid collection uh Dahui shorts, four dollars. Dahui. Sort of a good brand sometimes. These are my favorite finds from there. Uh these Athleta pants. Athleta. Now, some Athleta stuff's gonna have kind of a plasticky rubber tag. That's usually not what you want. These uh, tags that are kind of dangly, sorry, I'm shaking the table. If they're dangly and they say the model on them, those are kind of their higher end ones usually. You want the Athleta that says the model, you're gonna get a lot more money for Athleta if it has the model. And it's a lot like Lulu. I think they're actually owned by Lululemon. One of these, I have two pairs of similar pants. One of them is gonna be like 50 bucks for me, the other one's about 35. I paid 750 for each. Athleta's kind of beginning to be my favorite women's clothing brand, even though I originally told my mom in a different video that Athleta was trash, so I feel kind of bad about that. See, this same kind of thing. They're uh, straight up like yoga pants or leggings, don't sell well, so I would stay away from those. You want their baggier, Cargo pants, their flare pants, that kind of stuff. Uh, same place, found some North Face snow pants with flare leg. Pretty cool. These were $7.50. Probably the best trip to the Salvation Army ever. I'm trying to go quick here, I'm trying to go quick. Uh, some REI Co-op. REI Co-op is much better than regular REI. These are men's running shorts. Uh, paid $6 for them. REI Co-op is like their 
higher end stuff. Vintage REI cup can go for quite a bit of money. This was a kind of a random thing for me to buy. It's a Valera cycling jersey, which they sell quite a bit. It's nothing too cool, but it just had a really cool like 90s look to it. Um, so I grabbed it. Valera, it's all made in the USA, so it's pretty hard to tell if it's actually vintage. Valera spelled V-O-L-E-R. Peter Millar Summer Comfort. I don't know. Do these still, still go for like 20 bucks plus shipping? I think so. Uh, it's a large, kind of like a relaxed fit. Paid six bucks for it. Bubs gave me some of her old Nikes to sell. Thanks, Bubs. Found some Brooks in a Goodwill. Paid uh, eight bucks for them. Um, Brooks are worth looking up. When you look them up, also look up the size and the gender. That's gonna determine whether or not you should buy them. I had a suggestion in the comments that I should teach you how to look up selfie rate. I'll do that in a different video. Here is a, oh, I got all this gray stuff last week. That would've been half off this week. Territory Ahead short shirt. This is kind of for myself, so we'll see if I like it. Um, Territory Ahead, that's these shorts that I really like. Their shorts actually sell really, really well. A lot of them are listed on eBay for like 40 bucks. You, you price them at like 20 bucks. They're gonna sell pretty quick. Boy Scouts of America shirt. This one's cool because it's, it says Las Vegas on the sleeve. Uh, paid five bucks for that. I just sold one of these the other day for 20 plus shipping. Uh, Carhartt quarter zip sweater. I don't know about this. Uh, $8 I paid for it. We'll see. Maybe you get 25. I don't know for sure. That was kind of impulsive of me to buy that. Um, trying to stock up on the winter stuff that might be good in a couple months though. We got these last week. Bubs found these. Oh, I already showed this stuff. No, I already showed these. Well, Bubs found these figs for a dollar. Figs, F-I-G-S, grape scrub brand. Now, this was a weird thing for me to buy. I got three of these. They're like, they're brand new with the tags. All the Goodwills here have a million of these. And it looked like the sold comps for around 50 bucks. And I paid uh, $9.99 for two of them and $7.99 for the other one. For whatever reason, one of them was cheaper. But I'm going to try these out. I'm going to try to sell them and see what happens. And maybe if they fly off the shelves, I'll come back to Las Vegas and I'll buy a whole bunch of them. And I'll ship them back in a huge box. But the fact that there's a million of them in the Goodwill is not a good sign. They must have a deal with the company or something where the... Or somebody had a million of these and they sold them off to the Goodwill. All brand new tags. They have an entire part of their store dedicated to these. I don't know. Because I guess if one other reseller that lives here looks them up, what's to stop them from buying all of them? So this might have been a bad idea. But we'll see. They're, <coughs> they're like shapewear. Um, here's a hat I paid three forty nine dollars for. It's got a fight between these two guys. One of these guys, I looked him up and I looked up his hats from the 90s and they sell pretty well for around 25 bucks. We're still filming. I found some brand new with tags of vintage Levi's. Um, how you can tell the date on Levi's. Can you see this? So here, this number is gonna be the factory that it was made in, that's 647. And that number will also be shown on this button. Now if you go over here next to that factory, 1198, that is the month and the year that they were produced. So these are from 1998, new with the tags. They are like, they're flare low rise. So that's kind of a popular cut of pants right now for women. Those are women's, if they were men's, that would be awesome. But I paid um, I paid 11.29 for those. Cool, made in the USA, everything's, I think they're made in the USA, but they're vintage. But that's how you date Levi's. Anyways, Bubs found some. Uh, Dahui board shorts. They were half off too. They're a little wear to this. I'm just probably gonna pull that off. Um, size 30. But the ones, the Dahui's with a more like substantial pattern on them. I always find the plain ones, but the ones with a pattern seem to sell what better. Jeez Louise. This pet shaver. I found this at a, um, a estate sale before, the same exact one, and sold it right away for like 50 bucks. Found this one for five bucks in a savers. And I tested it out and it works. So we're gonna sell this for like 50 bucks. Uh, it's called a Pro Clip Ultra Red. It's a really like heavy duty, I don't wanna pull it out, but it's just like a really heavy, you'll see it, it's heavy and it's got a really long like industrial cord. Oh cool, we got a Bolo brand to finish this off. I looked these up on a hunch because they're kind of flare women's pants. Paid seven dollars for them. The company is called Porto 
San Francisco. Look it up. All their stuff sells incredibly well. It's got a good sell-through rate, I believe. I'll have to check back into that. But these pants should give me like 40 bucks. Look up, do it, this is some homework. Look up Porto San Francisco. Hey, maybe you look it up and it sucks and I was wrong. And let me know in the comments. Anyways, thanks for watching. That's everything I got. I got a huge pile over here. Um, gotta get that back home. Bubs, thanks for sitting over there and being a good girlfriend. And coming with me to all the thrift stores. Next video, I'll be back in Sacramento in my little cave. And I'll see you then. Big Yumbo. You don't like the kisses? Out. Subscribe. So quick update. Bubs, little kitty over there, is going to keep both of the nice jackets that she found because she found them and they both, they fit her really well. And, you know, I love her. So, look how cute she is.